I am so glad that you guys have taken a pause out of your busy schedule to come on and be on this podcast. It's like the pre-podcast, right? So I appreciate you guys coming on. Um, audience, I want to introduce those who are on this call on me on this podcast today. I have Kieta, which is my cousin, who is a very sound voice in my life. Um, we've been, I want to say we've been together from the womb to uh, now, but <laughs> literally we have been like, we're like best friends, sisters, and cousins, right? Um, and then First we cousins. also, yeah, so, I'm sorry, go ahead. First cousins. First cousins, right. <laughs> let's, let's just get that clear. <laughs> and then we also have my wonderful sister who is, <laughs> an entrepreneur. She has been the forerunner for me even being able to do what I'm doing today. I'm immensely proud of her for all of her accomplishments and what she's doing in the natural um, product community where she has her own skincare line. I'm just, I'm, you guys will get to hear about that a lot <laughs> later, but she <laughs> truly rocks and I'm so proud of her. And then I have Jada, which is my niece. Um, she, you know what? So there's something about, you know, just having the young people on. And Jada has been my sounding board. When I'm trying to get all of this technology going, when I'm trying to make sure that I'm relevant to those who are um, my audience or any um, thing that I want to do, Jada is a really good person to bounce off ideas. She helps me with technology. She's even helping with my resume. So she's very technically savvy. Uh, and I love Jada. She is my first niece, so she holds a very strong part of me and of her in my heart. And then last but not least, my oldest daughter, Casey. She is joining us today. Casey is like, Mama, we'll get it done. <laughs> she is always, I like to call her the clutch, right? Because she is always just standing in and doing a fantastic job. I appreciate her. I appreciate her for giving me two grandchildren. We won't talk about that, but I love my grandchildren. So I'm so thankful for that. All right. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be looking down a little bit just because I made some notes and I just want to make sure that we stay on track and stay on point. All right. So let me first just reintroduce Turning Point. I think of Turning Point and I think of um, birthing this podcast. I thought about how can I inspire my audience? I know that when I watch podcasts, I want to be inspired. So that's what I wanted to do for this audience. I wanted to bring people on that you would hear their stories and they will feel touched. They'll feel moved so that they could change their life and turn whatever situation is that they aspire to do. So with no further ado, I want to get into and start to ask you all, what does turning point mean to you all? I'll, I've told you all what turning point means to me. Now I would like to hear from you all what turning point means to you. Kenyatta, can you go first? Sure. Um, you know, I think turning point is very broad for me. You know, in life, we're always turning. Our earth is always turning scientifically. Um, but I think for me, it's being able to turn or pivot or twirl or spin in what you want out of life. So if you're headed in one way, then, and you don't like it, um, then you turn, then you pivot, then you twirl into the direction and land on a point, land on a specific, um, goal, land on a specific purpose. Um, that you would like to see achieved. I do believe that a uh, turning point can be, um, I would say, a turn used for pretty much anything. You know, we, we turn from um, the successes in life so that we can continue to strive for more success. We turn from the failures in life so we don't uh, continue to stay in those failures. And so I just think t turning point is such a broad um, word or even title even for, you know, what you're doing. And I think it's wonderful because everybody can relate to it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I really appreciate that feedback. I totally agree. When I think of Turning Point, I I didn't want to niche it down so specific to where we're only talking about one one vein, right, each and every week. I wanted it to be broad because I wanted to appeal to a larger audience. Um, I do have a preference of how I would like for, um, if it was, if, if I was only trying to appeal to a certain audience, I do have a path where I could go. But I thought that I would do the audience a disservice if we only just went through one path. So having it brought like that, I definitely felt like it would be a benefit. All right, Robin, uh, let me hear from you. What would you say Turning Point meant to you? I think that a turning point equates to a mind change. To me, turning point means that you've changed your perception, you've changed your outlook, um, and possibly the direction in which you want to go. And to accomplish the actual turn takes momentum. And so with that being said, although it sounds very simple in the mind to do, I feel that it takes a level of discipline and it takes a whole lot for you to get the momentum to actually physically turn the thing, turn your body, turn a per uh, perception, turn uh, whatever it is, um, it's a lot to do there. And that's why, unfortunately, I think a lot of people aren't very successful in the turn because it requires so much of us. And a lot of that is mental. Um, so, you know, just to be able to turn my hats off, congratulations, you did it. But um, it I'm is. I'm doing it. Do. I'm doing it. If you're doing it. Absolutely. So I hats off to you for getting the momentum, putting the feet to ground to actually make the moves to pivot, to turn and to do the thing, so. Well, I absolutely appreciate that. I'm talking about, as you're talking, I'm getting like chills because I'm just thinking about, you know, just moments in my life and moments in others' life when you think about that turn and how, to your point, it's not an easy thing, right? And a lot of times, if we don't have a blueprint of how to do a thing, then we get stuck in a rut, right? And so my goal, and I'm so glad you mentioned that, my goal is to have people come on and they have a blueprint that will help them to be able to turn to the direction that they desire. Oh, I love that so much, Robin. That, was, that, that touched me. <laughs> okay, uh, Jada, how about you? Um, for me, when I think of Turning Point, I think I'm brought to the thought that Turning Point isn't just one point. There's many turning points that we have within our lives. And kind of piggyback, piggybacking off of what my, what my mom said, for me, it's like it's an eye-opening moment, like a turning point. It's where, like she said, you're changing your mindset and your approach towards the thing, whether that thing is life, whether that thing is a career or an extracurricular that you're doing. It's like a mind change that requires you to change pathways or maybe change your approach to the thing that you're doing and shifting you in a different direction. I love that because, you know, I consider you a young person compared to me, of course. So let me ask you a secondary question. How hard is it for young people today to do something different, right? Like, I'll give you an example. Um, pivoting from going to school and then going to college, like, what does that look like in your space when you transitioned and did that? I think um, it depends on your approach to it. I think for a lot of people, the turn could be maybe simplistic because they already have a plan laid out. When you have a plan, it's easier to turn versus when you're just winging it and trying to turn based off of that. So I think it's all in your approach, how easy or how difficult it is to turn. I love that. I love that. And Casey, tell me what turning point means to you. Well, I feel like turning point means to me um, like creating a new chapter for yourself. It's kind of like a book. Every time you read a new chapter, you're turning and flipping that chapter. So that's kind of what it means to me. 
opening up uh, new doors, new chapters for the way we want to go in life. I love that. I love that. Because that's, I mean, if we really think about it, that's what life's all about, right? It's a book. <laughs> you know, you have a beginning and you have an end. And in the middle of it, you know, you're turning, through, you're navigating through life, right? And depending on um, how you chart your course will determine where you land. And if sometimes, you know, just to be completely honest, sometimes we land in places we don't want to land, but we're able to pivot, right, by either getting information or not wanting to be in the place that we're in or aspiring to do a different thing. So I, I love that. I love all of y'all's feedback. It's just so, so good. It felt so rich. <laughs> okay, so for the next question, you all um, watch podcasts or do you listen to podcasts? I do both. I, yeah, I like watching it better. I feel like when you watch someone, you can kind of get like literally everything that they're trying to say from the emotions of their face, their body language, and everything like that. So I feel like it's better um, to look at someone, like talking to someone face to face, than it is to just hear someone. Because you may hear somebody say something like, what do they mean by that? You know, and then instead of looking them in their face, like, oh, this is a cool conversation. Carry on. I totally agree. But OK, let me hear from you guys. I am a short clip podcast watcher. I like to watch clips of podcasts at a time. I don't usually sit and watch whole podcasts, but sometimes I do. And when I, do, <laughs> I enjoy them. But most of the time, I'm catching my podcast on TikTok or on Instagram as reels or shorts. Gotcha. And, you know, that totally makes sense because um, I feel like your generation, you don't want to spend an hour and watch a whole podcast or listen to a whole podcast unless it catches you. Me, I'm like, listen, I want to watch it. I want to see it. I remember uh, watching a marriage podcast and they had it like it was it was a big thing and if i had just listened to what the husband was saying to the wife i would have been like oh that ain't that that ain't good husbandship <laughs> but like once i was looking at their interaction it made complete sense of where what he was saying and how she was looking at him and you know it it, it became a harmony but if you just hear it sometimes it can it can come off different Kenyatta, what would you say? I don't really watch podcasts or listen to them. Mm -hmm. um, I just kind of, I'm at a point in my life <laughs> where I have to turn many times throughout the day. And, and it really boils down to time. And I have to make a choice and decision where I'm going to put, uh, you know, my time and effort in every single day. And I, a lot of times I just do not have the time. I'm, uh, I do like to, um, you know, see what's out there. But as far as devoting the time to listen to something consistently and regularly, it's just, I just don't have the time to do so. I gotcha. I gotcha. That, that totally makes sense. Robin, how about you? Well, I'm not uh, one to watch a lot of podcasts or really listen to them. The closest thing that I think I do that comes close to podcasts would be like on the way to work and I'm hearing the morning show or something. A collab mm -hmm. of people who are, you know, on different topics and I can stand that in short amounts. Um, now, if it is something that I am truly interested in, kind of like with my business, then I will do a lot of, um, I guess, vlogs um, while I'm, you know, just to entertain me or to listen to while I'm actually busy doing something. Um, so that's that's probably the closest that I get. But no, I'm not a, a real notorious watcher of podcasts. No. You know, and that totally makes sense, you know, for what you do, right? So when I think of podcasts, I think of entertainment or educational, right? <laughs> um, so I know that YouTube is become a search engine. And I feel myself going to YouTube all the time for 
<laughs> especially now that I've gotten, you know, I'm prepping up for a podcast, um, just trying to understand what does this app do? What does this piece of equipment do? Or if there's something that I purchased in the house, right? So it's like that educational piece. And that's what I feel like that I'm always looking for on YouTube. Um, sometimes when I want to be inspired, right? I will um, look at, I mean, I will look and listen to different podcasts um, that inspire me and get me into a positive mindset. Um, I know that there's some really good ones out there. So I'm totally a podcast person. Um, but it's interesting just to hear the dynamics of, because I know that each one of you all have very different lives. And just to see how you guys allow yourself to be I, w I don't want to say educated, but entertained, if you will. Um, so very good. I guess here's, here's the wild question. If you were to listen to a podcast, what would be your quick like, oh, I'm clicking off. I'm click uh, the, 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 I can't do more than 30 seconds. I'm clicking off, but that ain't it. <laughs> if it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If How it's not you know? any laughter. If it's not any laughter, good conversation, and it's only one person talking, I feel like I'm in school. I'm ready to leave. Or somebody doing something just totally, just just stupid, you know, ignorant, or just like of no type of value. You know, you get these clips of people just sawing things, and I get the app, Asmar effect, you know, but you got to be getting something out of it because some people are just doing things solely for the sake of likes and, you know, some kind of strange entertainment. But it had it holds no type of substance uh, or anything that even tries to uh, engage you in any way. So engagement is a big one for me. Mm -hmm. I think for me, there's kind of two things. One is um, people that are kind of beating these same topics. Like culturally, there are some hot topics that we've just over talked and I don't feel like listening to those a lot of times or mm -hmm. when people just don't know what they're talking about and are just talking because a lot of people are just getting mics and just talking and it's like, I don't want to hear this. I'm clicking off of this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I totally get that. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Look, I, there's there's some videos that are going through my mind where I'm like, I did not walk away any smarter <laughs> after spending. Because right. I'll give people a chance, right? I'll I'll li I'll try to listen because I'm like, okay, there's a good point. There's a you know something there, and and sometimes it's not, and you just walk away feeling like you've eaten junk food, right? Um, one second, hold on. Okay, can you tell me? Pretty much not falling falling in those three categories. You do have about a thirty seconds to two minutes. Twenty six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so I want to ask you guys. When I came to you all and I said, "Hey, I want to do a podcast," <laughs> what was your first thought when I told you that? I was initially like, this is perfect for you. This is what you do anyways without recording. So I'm sure that when you record it, it's going to come naturally. It's going to flow. And I just knew that it was going to be successful. And I still know that. So, Well, thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to try really hard. <laughs> I would say I got the text early, early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> while I was asleep but it woke me up out of my sleep when I was just like yep she's going to do it <laughs> and she's going to be great at it so um, I am just excited to see how this is going to flourish and just kind of see how it's even going to grow you I wanna, I'm want i looking forward to seeing you grow into this um, you have a great personality and the world just really needs to see that and hear what you have to say and what's on your heart and mind. Oh, thank you. I was, well, I was... as long as she has the coffee. 
He's up for the podcast. Right. <laughs> yes, I absolutely you. love coffee. All things coffee. She'll never fail you. <laughs> never. I will I will say this. Rob, I mean, I, I did come to Robin um and talk about, you know, wanting to do the podcast. So I want to give Robin, I want to give you a chance to um express like what you felt when I told you but I want I have a follow-up question for you well initially when you came to me with the idea um I was all in honestly because I know how you operate one I know that when you have something brewing I know when you got something brewing (laughs) <laughs> you know, I just know that it was going to be you were going to put all your effort into the thing. I knew that the podcast was going to be when when I saw you start, you know, flipping the pages and turning the things around uh, immediately, I knew that there was no letting up. So I had full confidence that you were going to attach yourself to this and make it everything you needed it to be with no doubts. It my thing was okay, how do I help you with this? What can I do? You know. So. Yeah, can I, 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 can I wanna add this because go ahead, go ahead. that is called a new turning point for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. This is definitely, I will, I will tell you, it's definitely a turning point for me because for so long, I feel like that I have helped people with their businesses. I have given people nuggets to help propel them to that turning point in their life. And I've heard for like, I would say three years now, people saying, hey, you should do a podcast, you should do a podcast, or you have a nice podcast voice. And I just really felt like I don't have a niche. And so a lot of times if you don't have a niche or an angle in which you're going to talk to people, it's hard for me to try to convey something that I don't, if I don't have a path, it's hard for me to start a project without that. So I remember looking at someone's podcast and it's like I don't know what it was I I just felt illuminated right because I was watching it and all of a sudden something said you can do this and I was like I mean could I and so I started looking at some of the other podcasts um, that she had uploaded and I said Oh goodness, I can do this. I don't know why I'm like acting like I can't, right? I have the personality for it. I have the connection. I mean, I can definitely do it. Am I going to be perfect like immediately? No. And I and I never um expect to be. I give myself the opportunity to grow. So, um as each week goes by, I know that I'm going to get better. So, I appreciate you all's feedback. Um I I really want to highlight a moment um, that I had with Robin. I'm sitting here and I'm working. And as I stated, Robin is an entrepreneur, right? Robin has a a skincare line called Queen Body that is phenomenal, phenomenal. That's, listen, when I say phenomenal, I, it's not giving it enough, like, uh, it is just, When it goes onto your skin, it's amazing. Okay, I'm not going to get into it. I will let Robin tell you guys where you can find out all about her skincare line. But for now, let me just stay focused. So just knowing that Robin is an entrepreneur, knowing um, all the steps that she's taken to get her business where it is today, um, I was like up in the middle of the night and I felt like I couldn't talk to anybody. And I'm sitting here mulling over all this, trying to get you know, the vision, um, you know, write the vision, make it plain, trying to do all those things. And I said, I need to call someone, but I need to call someone that knows and understands what it is to be in the grind of it all. So I give Robin a call 
And Robin, can you please articulate what that looked like at whatever time that I called you? Ooh, I mean, the, the, the amount of energy that, <laughs> that she gets from nowhere. I mean, and, and it don't stop. I'm like 7 a.m. Hey, girl. Hey, yep. Uh, I just got through setting up my... Uh, I'm like, girl, go to bed. No, it was great to be able to have the discussions with you about, you know, what I feel like I'm already tapped into. And when you are able to share that with someone, it's like an explosion of ideas and understanding. And, you know, we can talk all night about it because I'm very much invested and interested in the same type of things. So the conversation is easy for me when we can get on there and just express ideas and be up and get off subject, get back on, um, you know, it, it, it's a great time. So I appreciated it. I, I thought that it was a lot of excitement, a lot of- You energy. appreciate it. I appreciate it because Aww. I'm sitting here with this <laughs> big bust of, like burst of energy. And I'm just like, ah. Oh. I got to let it off to someone. I was like, <laughs> girl. Because, I mean, yeah, and the energy, it is. It's, and that's just who you are at your core. I really believe that. Like, you know, you just, the personality, it radiates. And like Kenyatta said, I really want the world to be able to tap into that. You should be sharing that with somebody, with with us, you know, and, and people outside of your family. Um, cause I think you do have some valuable things to talk about. It's much to be said. Um, and I'm here for it. So, yeah. Well, thank you. I, ju I just want to say one other thing before we wrap up, um, this, this comfort of being able to get onto a podcast or setting a platform like this and just have this dialogue was birthed out of a baby shower event session, right? When um, Casey was having her first child, we came together, a couple of us, and said, listen, we're going to be on a group chat and we're going to work together to try to get this thing off the ground and make sure that Casey has a wonderful baby shower. And in that conversation, we would say numerous times, we should get on YouTube and we should just record this and you know, um, things are, you know, people would like really like to hear what we're saying. And so to come back in six months after I've actually launched the podcast, and then we can kind of look at where we are at that point and just kind of have a good conversation. I think that would be enough time to circle back and, you know, just talk about it. So when is the podcast being launched? Because we want to know. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you guys next week. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I want to hold you back a little bit because it's coming, but I will let you guys know next week for sure. I want to go through like this, like work up to it, right? Just to, um, make sure that I have all the guests lined up because we're still trying to get uh, the batch together and batch basically means get those videos stored up. So once we do launch that um, we'll have it week to week and then we can, you know, have another set. So that's kind of why um, I haven't announced it yet, but it's coming, but I will let you know next week. I promise. I promise many people have asked me next week for sure. All right. We'll be looking forward. To the next yes. Yes. We'll be there. <laughs>